Hi, welcome everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Lyrham Golf Academy. We've got a little bit of a fun video here for you today. And what I'm going to do is test a ladies driver against obviously a gents driver, which is pretty much into my spec here. So probably one very extreme to the other here. Maybe we're going to have a little look at some spin numbers, some launch numbers, some dispersion um, rings with, with each of these golf clubs. And maybe see how obviously a very flexible shaft in the ladies um, will we'll perform very differently to maybe the right spec in the men's. Now, obviously, we're going to see some differences here, um, and some of you may be thinking, well, what's the point in doing this comparison? But it's maybe just a little bit of fun, really, just to maybe see, you know, what the differences are, how big are the differences? Um, and I think uh, probably a lot of guys could probably play into a lady's spec in terms of the softness of the shaft, but obviously, you know, they, they don't want to know, they don't want, well, basically, don't want the mates to know that they're playing with a ladies' club for the. Uh, Obviously, the stick they're going to receive, <laughs> but um, be interesting one to maybe look at here. So uh, we're going to hit. Um, I've got a tailor-made uh, ladies' driver here. Okay, so obviously, ladies' length, ladies' grip, ladies' flex. It's 12 degrees of loft, which is generally pretty standard for ladies. And I'm putting up against the Epic Sub Zero, which has got the hazardous um, handcrafted shaft in here in stiff and nine degrees, which is a little bit more into my sort of spec for my speed and etc. So um, we'll start hitting a few shots with each and maybe look at some numbers. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the ladies uh, driver first. So as I say, this is a tailor made, it's 12 degrees. Obviously ladies shaft, ladies grip, ladies length here. So it's probably a good one and a half inches shorter in length itself here. Okay, I'll do this first one I hit. Okay, I struck that really well. Obviously, quite a high ball flight there. So, but we're going to see this sort of climb a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that carried out 245. Uh, spinning up at around sort of 3,200 there. So, it's not as high as possibly what I expected. Again, strike is going to play quite a bit of a difference here between, you know, these obviously these spin, spin numbers as we know. but. Obviously, to me, it feels really sort of shot, soft in the shaft. You know, as I'm bringing that down, club on the way down, I'm feeling like the head's a long way back, and then it really whips through at the bottom of the golf swing. Okay, again, great strike. And that flight a little bit straighter, but again, really high there. That's carried out just over 240 on carry distance there. Yeah, 241. And that's spun at 3,600, but obviously it's just saw quite a high launch there and just sort of like go straight up as we would sort of expect really. But the strike felt really, really good. Okay, again, not a bad strike there. Pretty straight on its flight, really high though. Yeah, again, that's kind of about 2.43 there. 2.42. Okay, and that's spawned at 4,300. That one you definitely could see just really sort of climb there through its ball flight. Okay, so I've hit three shots with the ladies. I've hit three shots with the Sub-Zero there now, and then we'll check some numbers out in a little bit more detail. Right, so now I've got the Epic Sub-Zero in my hands here. So this is 9 degree. As I say, it's got the hazardous Project X handcrafted shaft here in 6.0, so it's stiff. Uh, should be a lot more suited to my swing, my speed, my delivery. Okay, so we'll give this first one a hit. Okay, so straight away that felt so much better. The flight was obviously very, very different there and the result different there, that's edging out at 274 carry, running out, out over 305, spinning under 2000. Okay, that was a little bit low in the face there, a little bit low strike in the toe, but it's done really well there, I mean that's got out 281 carry 309. And that's spun at 2,200. So slightly low in the face there, but again, the spin's very much controlled. Obviously, a lot of different tech in the head compared to the ladies here. 
The lady CG obviously be way back here just to try and get that ball in the air for generally the lady who struggles probably with a bit of club head speed. Obviously the shaft's very, very different weight as well as flex. Um, and obviously the length is a little bit different as well with, with the gents version against the ladies. So, so obviously some very different spec um, characteristics here between these two clubs. And as I said earlier, it's probably one extreme to the other here. But sometimes it's good to maybe look at uh, the differences between these two. And obviously there's a lot of types of golfers would fit in between all these, uh, between these two clubs. Um, as I say, one extreme to the other, a lot would fit sort of in between. So it's really trying to, through custom fit here, is trying to find obviously something that suits your speed, your delivery, your strike pattern, your shot shape tendencies um, when you're out on that golf course uh, to try and obviously get the most out of it distance wise, but also control. Okay, so it's going to hit one more with the Callaway and then we'll just uh, take a look at some numbers in a little bit more detail. Okay, again, struck that really well. That felt like that spun up a little bit more there. Yeah, dropped off slightly in carry there. 274, run out 298. Just felt like it climbed a little bit, yeah, two and a half thousand spin. Um, I think caught that a little bit low in the face. You could just see that sort of climb a little bit in its flight there. Okay, so let's go and have a look at some numbers. A little bit more detail of being a golf against the ladies, against the gents driver. Okay, let's have a look at some numbers here. So obviously there's going to be no surprises here, but ladies, club head speed 110. Obviously picking up a bit more length in the club here at 114. Club head speed. Uh, ball speed massive difference, uh, 8 mile an hour more ball speed with the gents, uh, launch and lower, again loft options there, shaft etc. Spin number, good 1500 revs lower, so a huge difference of that spin number there. So the whole combination here, and this is what sometimes we see uh, through fittings, now obviously you know, if I went for a fitting, they wouldn't put a lady's driver in my hand, but um, this sort of scenario does happen through fittings where we can see that little bit of increase in club head speed, more importantly, that increase of ball speed when we get the right shaft length, you know, control and strike, we see ball speed increases. Then couple that with the launch of the right area with the better spin number, it all results in this end number, which is your carry distance. Okay, so 242 against 276, you know, so good. Uh, 34 yards difference purely on carry itself. But then you look at descent angle, that's coming in at 33 degrees, ladies coming at 47. So the run out, is massive you know it's a good 46 yards difference of run out there right okay so as i say a little bit of a fun test there and some of you may be thinking well what's the point in doing that you know for me with ladies again something that's very much more suited to me but probably again it's just another way of showing you guys the differences of what shafts obviously what heads the lofts the length of the shaft um probably a little bit of the feel as well aspect to this um, can make to obviously numbers of the golf ball and performance of the golf club to, to a certain golfer. Now as you appreciate through custom fit we see lots of golfers come through the door, very different on terms of ability, you know, physical movements of body, speed, delivery, way they deliver the golf club and this is where again getting the right loft, the right shaft, the right weight, okay, the right type of head, obviously getting the right weight settings in the head, Length of shaft, um, as I say, I've done a, uh, a video on that to quite recently and it's very, really interesting results. Again, grip thickness, again, another video done, I'll put some links up at the end here so you can go and check those out. But all these little elements can, can result in some big differences of ball flight uh, in terms of what, in what they're going to see. So again, it's dialing it into what is suitable for you, what you're wanting to sort of see, trying to take out a certain bad shot, possibly if you've got in there, or trying to hit a more desirable shot. You know, that's the whole reason why we do custom fit. So, you know, if, if you're gonna go out and get a driver, set of irons, whatever it is, get fitted. Okay, thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, please do comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on, on this sort of video here. Maybe, I, I, I possibly might not own up to this, but have you guys got a ladies driver? You know, I tell you what, there's so many out there. Um, you know, the guys who maybe haven't got quite a lot of speed will probably suit a ladies driver more. It's really interesting. I mean, that felt great to me. Obviously, flight was, wasn't um, optimum for me, but the feel of it was superb. So, you know, let me know your thoughts. Okay, thanks very much for watching, guys. Please do hit that thumbs up button, share the video around. Obviously, hit that subscribe button. It'll mean a lot to me. And hopefully, we'll catch up with you all very soon.